Hello, all ya boys and girls, it's Michael here from MTG and more. Time for another exciting uh, unboxing video, CQ um, comparison video, show off video, and, and a tiny bit of review video, video. And this time I will be talking about a new product from GameMat. Din, din, din. It's the Altar uh, from the Gothic set. It's pre-painted and uh, basically what you get is a pretty big Alta which comes straight out of the box, painted, uh, dry brushed and everything. It's open for uh, the wish to paint it yourself or do I know what, uh, uh, dry brush it yourself, uh, fix it up yourself. Uh, they use just uh, one color here, one color there, but it pretty basically looks pretty good. I'm going to use this for the... Um, campaign, uh, the summer campaign, Edge of the Abyss for Kings of War. And I think when you want to have a ready set terrain, uh, this is one of the coolest pieces you can get. There is only one flaw I just saw a couple of seconds ago and that was there is a hole right here and that's about it. You can cover up, yeah you can cover that up with some uh, uh, with some uh, fluff or do I know what. You can paint it up, you can do it, you can do anything. This doesn't bother me that much. It's not all that pricey and you can buy it for about 40 euros on uh, the internet. Uh, stuff which is pre-painted will cost a lot more with a different company. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I will be uh, mounting it, like I said, on the first Kings of War Edge of the Abyss um, tournament coming up. And I am looking forward to uh, smash some goodness and kick some ass uh, in that tournament. And this will be one of the terrain pieces. It's pretty simple, it's pretty basic. And that's not all a bad thing. Because pretty basic stuff keeps, you, keeps the focus on the game itself. And well, since I haven't been playing all that much, I could use a little bit more focus on the game than on the terrain. I'm a terrain fan myself, and I think this would uh, make a really good set. I kind of am looking forward to buying the rest of the set. And, um, well, uh, can't say anything more about this. Good risen piece, and it's pretty heavy. See, you won't move it all that, uh, that easy when you're playing on the field. Then there is the comparison with the uh, models. I have my Orc Flagger here, uh, which isn't finished yet, don't get me wrong. But I have the Orc Flagger here, and if you see right here, it actually fits pretty good. Or if you put it right here. You can use it for a variety of, uh, there you go. There's one of my skeleton Billfire Catapult crew. Um, you can use it for a variety of uh, games. I think one of the most interesting games would be a fantasy skirmish game or a tabletop game. But I can see it using uh, being used in games like Frostgrave or uh, other Osprey skirmish games. It could even be used in uh, Malifaux or something. Yeah, that's it for today. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. And may the dice be forever in your favor. Bye-bye.